Welcome back to Legit Street Cars, and welcome to another Christmas car giveaway. In years past, I've fixed up and given a single mom in need a Lincoln, a young guy taking care of his mother with cancer, a Subaru, and in this video, I'm giving a U.S. Marine combat veteran a Mercedes. Now, this Mercedes-Benz ML500 SUV is kind of a big unicorn, and it took me forever to find because this is the only year of this generation ML to use one of the most reliable engines Mercedes ever made, the almighty M113. The M113 is a single overhead cam V8 that produces around 300 horsepower, and it came out in 1998 and was used for about a decade in various Mercedes models. It's widely known as being a bulletproof engine. These things would run forever if you simply just changed the oil, and just about the only issue you may see after a few years are various engine oil leaks of which we have many. I mean, we got a ton of oil leaks. This thing is leaking oil everywhere and it's probably why the previous owner wanted to sell it, but we can fix this. Now the engine isn't the only reason why I picked this ML500. This is the best spec coming with heated Alcantara insert seats, a Harman Kardon stereo, a sunroof, factory by Xenon headlights, and it doesn't have the super problematic power lift gate this one is manual. It also doesn't have keyless go, which is a cool feature that gives you buttons on the door handles to lock and unlock the doors. But those handles are super expensive and they always fail. So Chris, who you're gonna meet later, also has kids, so there's plenty of room for them and all of their activities. There's just, there's just a lot of room in these. The ML500 also has all wheel drive. These things are an absolute monster in the snow, which is needed here in Chicago. And the ML is gonna keep Chris and his family super safe because these things scored a perfect five-star crash test rating in front and side impact. So the ML will protect Chris and his family just like he was willing to protect us here at home after 9-11. Chris was born in Kentucky and joined the U.S. Marine Corps in the year 2000. He was originally deployed to Southeast Asia, but after 9-11, Chris and his infantry platoon, who was part of the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, were deployed to Kuwait as the first boots on the ground for Operation Iraqi Freedom. Chris and his platoon traveled through Baghdad under heavy fire for months, and they were the first platoon to go through what was later dubbed Ambush Alley. His efforts in bravery in the operation earned him and his platoon a presidential unit citation and the platoon commander received the Navy Cross. Upon returning to the U.S. and because of his extensive experience in combat, Chris finished out his service as an urban warfare instructor, training troops for battle before they're deployed. After his service, Chris went to culinary school, became a sushi chef, and moved to Chicago, all while battling with PTSD. Unfortunately, and like many Vets, Chris's PTSD resulted in him being hospitalized, and during his treatment, his family reached out to Salute Inc. Salute's a charity who provides assistance to vets in need, and you may remember my Salute Inc. fundraiser video where I took my friend Dan, a blind veteran, for a leisurely drive in my 1,000 horsepower turbo Trans Am. <laughs> Chris's recovery, he decided to give back to Salute Inc. for helping him, and he started catering sushi for Salute fundraiser events, and that's where he became friends with Will, who later started the Road Home program that specifically helps veterans suffering from PTSD. Hi, I'm Will Beiersdorf. I'm the executive director of the Road Home program here at Rush University Medical Center, and we take care of vets with PTSD, military sexual trauma, and other invisible wounds of war and life. We've been open since 2014, helping vets and their families. Will hired Chris as his first employee and as an outreach coordinator. And for over 10 years, Chris has been the first point of contact to veterans suffering from the memories and traumatic experiences of war. Many times, vets who suffer from PTSD don't ask for help. So Chris travels the country to VA hospitals and veteran hangouts, looking for signs and to start a conversation with the men and women of our military and offer 
help that could save their lives. Chris's boots are still on the ground today fighting for our country, but Chris is without wheels and gets around by bus and train. And if anyone deserves a car, it's Chris. All right, guys, so it's seven o'clock in the morning, the day of the giveaway. We're just putting the final touches here on the ML detail. This thing is gonna look so good. So we're just about loaded up and ready to go surprise Chris. But just like all of my car giveaways, Chris doesn't know me. He doesn't know anything about the giveaway. This is a total surprise. So today is just a normal day at work for him, or so he thinks. Now I've set this entire thing up with Will from Road Home, who you guys are gonna meet a little bit later in the video. But not only are we gonna surprise Chris with the ML500, but my friends at Mods and Miles are giving Chris cash to cover an entire year's worth of car insurance. So definitely check out their link down below. It's free to list your car there. And I'm going to give Chris cash to cover an entire year's worth of gasoline. So insurance, gas will be covered. And that's about all Chris is going to need for the ML. So let me take you guys back in time two days to show you everything we've fixed on this SUV to make sure that it takes care of Chris for many years to come. <laughs> All right, it is Monday morning and I'm ready to work. Good morning, SVT Cobra. Good morning, Grand National, SVT Lightning, Mustang, bunch of other stuff. And good morning, Peter. This is our 2006 ML 500. And Peter, what do you think of the hood? It's a little faded. I think she'll come out. I think she'll come out too. So we picked this guy up a couple of days ago, drove it here to the shop, and I was able to use the faded hood and a massive, massive oil leak to negotiate the price of this super well-maintained, clean title ML500 down to $5,300, which I think is fantastic. Wait till I show you guys the new parts that the previous owner just put on, but first, we have to remove the underbelly engine panels and figure out the oil leak. I think I have an idea of where most of the oil leaks are coming from, but we have to inspect this rear main seal. The rear main seal is in the back of the engine in between the engine and the transmission, and it would be leaking from right around in there, and it is bone dry. We would see it all over the torque converter as well, and we're looking good. And let's just double check one more spot. Actually, two more spots. And yeah, here's the bottom of our torque converter. We don't have any oil on that. And we can look in here and verify that the front transmission pump seal isn't leaking either. All right, cool. So we gotta head back to the front. With the Mercedes Beauty cover off, we found our first obvious oil leak, which is coming from the valve cover breather. So the valve covers are separated into two different parts. This is sealed with RTV, runs all the way back here, and the main valve cover is sealed with a normal rubber gasket. And so those definitely need to be resealed along with some new PCV tubes as these get brittle and crack over the years. All right, let's see what we can see with this monstrosity out of our way. Well, right off the bat, this has a very bad harmonic balancer. So this is the balancer at the front end of the crankshaft, and it's supposed to have a piece of rubber inside here, and that is all but gone. You can see some of it over here, um, but this is going to completely come apart. This will cause an engine vibration, and if they break apart, that's, that's really, really bad. Um, so we got to replace that, but let's see if we can figure out where the bulk of this oil leak is coming from. And I suspect a lot of it is from this pressure port right here. This is a very common failure point on these engines. So there's a seal and an O-ring in there that needs to be replaced. And there's just a ton in this general area that leak on these M113 V8 engines. This is the oil cooler. There are seals in here. Those leak as well. And this power steering reservoir has an O-ring at the back that leaks. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five potential leak spots right from this corner. And this is where all the oil is coming down and getting over everything on the bottom. So we definitely have our work cut out for us and this belt is destroyed. It's been flinging oil for probably months at this point. All right, I just sent a big parts list over to my friends at FCP Euro. I told them what we're doing with the ML and they are covering all of these parts 
for Chris. So Chris is gonna get that awesome lifetime parts replacement guarantee. So a big thanks to FCP Euro. I'll drop their link down below. Uh, but for now, we have to start taking everything apart and they're expediting everything. So I should have it tomorrow. Oh, and let me show you guys all the new parts that the previous owner just put on this ML. All right, so he said last year they replaced the water pump. He did the front brake pads and the rotors at the same time. They did the rear pads and rotors and the airbags for the rear suspension and new tires. The previous owner was super cool and he took really good care of this, except it started to leak a lot of oil. All right, let's kick this party off by removing this nasty, nasty serpentine belt. Get out of here. They very well could have replaced this with a water pump and then it got destroyed. All right, I'll pop this oil filter out. Ooh, yeah, good sounds. We'll let that drain for a little bit. All right, this belt tensioner isn't bad, but we're gonna replace this and another common pulley that fails on these. It's been soaking in oil, which doesn't really ruin these, but we want it to be nice, Chris. We're gonna make this thing really nice. We're gonna replace this one too. These can snap sometimes. That happened to me on my ML55. All right, let's drain out this oil. This thing's reading that it's past due on the service on the cluster. A lot of people just don't know how to reset these guys. What do we got? Okay. That's engine oil, not the newest. All right, so you always wanna replace this crush washer in here. And I got a bunch of new ones. All right, drain pan is in. All right, now we can pop this guy out. All right, we definitely wanna replace all of these O-rings as well. And you know I'm using an awesome Amsoil filter. These things are the best. I mean, look at it in there. These are beautiful. If you guys haven't used Amsoil filters, I highly recommend them. I'll leave a link down below. All right, that's done, but we're saving this for later. All right, we're gonna get this air pump off. It makes it much easier to get to this. And it's just a bolt and a little connector and a clamshell looking thing. There we go. All right, let's get this oil cooler apart. All right, so the cooler moves back and now we can remove the housing. Except I can't find my 46 millimeter socket. So Peter's taking the shop, Caprice, PPV to go get one. Menard says it's not. Woo! That thing's a little loud. But it's not like we don't have a million things to do, so we won't waste any time. Gotta get these coils off. Gotta get these leaking valve covers off. Get out of here. Come off, plug. So we're gonna replace the spark plugs as well. And they're not that difficult to do, but there are 16 of them. So they're just kind of expensive, two plugs per cylinder. That was done for efficiency, but they did away with it in the following generation of engines. I guess Mercedes figured out how to make it work with one plug like everybody else. Now let's see how loose, oh yeah. These plug wires gotta go. Yeah, when they get loose like that, they're just, might not make a good connection when you replace the plug. So we'll get new ones too. With the coil packs off, you can see this side valve cover is not leaking at all, but I don't care. I'm gonna reseal this up for Chris anyway. And to get this thing off, we just have a bunch of E10s all over the place. All right, Max, edit this up into one of those Zip Sam Zoo things where it just looks like I do it in two seconds. Here we go. All right, this should come off. There we go. All right, let's get this guy out of here. See if they kept up on their oil changes. I think they did. All right, I got all the hardware off of this side. There we go. Keep on dropping one of the screws. I heard it hit the ground though, so that's good. There we go. Oh, this one's nasty. Nasty. I had two of every... Tools, yay. All right, cool. Now we can take this off. You know what, let's start, let's start a war in the comment section. Peter, what do you think the most reliable gasoline engine out of all the brands is? What do you think? I'm gonna go with the Lexus Toyota 1UZ V8 motor. Okay. I'm going GM. I'm going GM 3800. Those pushrod engines lasted forever. They had intake manifold leaks. That was about it though. Uh, but let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think is the most reliable gasoline engine ever made? All right, so we had to get a one and 13 16 socket. It is a three quarter drive. I had to adapt down and she's held in pretty good. All right, there we go. All right, this guy should lift right up, like so. Oh, there's our leaking seal. This guy right here, flat as a pancake, hard as a rock. It's a pancake rock, that's, that's what it is. It's an expensive, it's a very expensive pancake rock to fix that. But not if you do it at home. 
I think the seal's probably like five bucks. Oh, and here's some more pancake rocks right here. These guys leak. That's where the cooler attaches like so. And you can see they are super flat. They're gonna be rock hard. Let's get these out. Oh, she's crispy. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, this is supposed to be a lot more flexible. And yep, more of the same here. Replace me, replace me now. I feel like it's like more like a crusty old man voice. Oh yeah, that's true. You better not replace me. I'm still working. They don't make me like they used to. Get out. Shut up, Harold, you crusty old man. You don't know what you're talking about, Esther. Uh. All right, we're almost done disassembling everything. We gotta suck out our power steering fluid because I'm gonna give Chris a new reservoir. So not only is this leaking, but there's a little filter inside the reservoir that you can't replace separately. And when that filter clogs up, you start to get a groaning from the power steering pump. And so we're just gonna go ahead and replace this now before it fails. Look at how nasty and crusty it is. And here's the O-ring that leaks all the time. All right, last part we have to remove is the harmonic balancer. And I found this tool that may work. It's not the proper Mercedes one, but we're gonna see what happens. So it fits in here. We just need it to kind of jam up the balancer. Look at this guy. Hello, my name is Eberhardt. I'm German. Get to the chopper! <laughs> this thing is held on by like 240 foot pounds or something, so it's it's my larger breaker bar versus Peter's tiny one. Ah, okay, this isn't working. All right, here we go. This is totally normal. Oh, it's turning. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Woo! Okay. These balancer bolts are really on there. Here's our little setup. It seems to be working just fine. Oh, no problem. I don't even need that breaker bar. All right, so this tool is actually for like a Ford or a Mazda or something, but it works for Mercedes too, and it was only $20. Yeah, we'll just take out our gigantic balancer bolt. And this guy should slide right off. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. This was gonna let loose. Wow, we caught this right on time. All right, now we're gonna take out some spark plugs too. What do we got, what do we got? Ooh, we got crustiness. Woo, wow, these, these original? I'm really surprised. I am really surprised, these look to be original. Look at the gap, and this thing ran smooth as glass. The M113 just doesn't care. You don't wanna replace the spark plugs, fine. You wanna wait a couple years to change the oil, it'll still run, it never dies. Last but not least, we have the pressure port. I'll show you guys what leaks on this. And here she is, the crusty, crusty old man. We'll name this old man Clarence. Get away, Clarence. You've been sealing the pressure for way too long. So yeah, this guy right here leaks out. And there is also a washer in here. So this is where you would attach an oil pressure gauge to test your oil pressure. So it's rarely ever used because the oil pressure is always fine because it's the best Mercedes gas engine ever. All right, so with that, here is our parts table of shame. All of our old parts that are leaking and crusty and, and about to explode. And thanks to some very speedy delivery times from FCP Euro, we have all of our new stuff. This is so, so cool, so satisfying. We have it all. Our belt tensioner, pulley, power steering reservoir seal, harmonic balancer that doesn't have rubber coming out of it. Uh, we're gonna do the plug wires as well, spark plugs, air filter, yeah, everything, everything. And we're topping it off with some synthetic European 540 from Amsoil. So anyway, with that, let's clean some parts. I got the valve covered in the parts washer. We're gonna get some diesel all over it and let that soak in. All right, so we'll see what that looks like a little later. Oh, but we can see what this looks like right now because I want to get this back on the engine. Leave us grime. Hey, you can see the star again. It's silver? I thought it was black. <laughs> yeah, it, it was black. So shiny. All right, we'll lubricate this new one a little bit and then just pop it in the cover like so. Oh, look at that, it's protruding out a little bit. It's nice and flexible. It's good for another 15 years. All right, I'm gonna pressure wash this engine in the wash rack after we're done with everything, but we'll just clean up this gasket mating surface right now. All right, then we're just going back together in reverse order. A little finger tighten first. And I'm torquing this piece on. 
And it looks a little out of place here. All right, with that torqued on, we can actually now replace this copper washer too, since it's being held in by our engine. All right, out with the old and in with the new. And we just thread this guy back on. You get the idea. Next up is our new harmonic balancer, and we're gonna use a new bolt as well. And this is keyweighed, so you can't mess it up. And it's not press fit or anything, it just slides right on. And we're gonna thread in our new bolt. All right, ready? Yep. All right, here we go. We are torquing this down. Uh, okay. All right, let's see if we can get this guy to torque. That's 150, we gotta go up though. There we go. Woo! She's on there, never coming off, Chris. That balancer is there for life. Next up, we have our new belt tensioner going in. It does feel weird putting these nice shiny parts on an engine that looks so, so dirty, but don't worry. It'll all make sense soon when we pressure wash it. Honestly, if I could go back in time, I would have uh, pressure washed this first. I don't know what I was thinking there. All right, on the oil filter housing, we went from this nastiness all the way to this. And let me show you guys the difference with the seals. This is old, this is new. So much more flexible. And then we're just gonna pop it in like this. It protrudes out a little bit and that's what's gonna make our seal. Before we reinstall that, let's get our power steering reservoir on. I'll clean this guy up a little bit. All right, new reservoir seal going in just like that. That's all that really leaks on these. All right, then we just go ahead and slide this back onto the pump like so. Then we just snap in a little retainer, put on a hose, tighten it up and zip in our bolt. And with everything cleaned up and our oil filter housing seal lubricated, we can install it like this and then install the housing like this. Then this gigantic thing goes in. Then believe it or not, this thing gets torqued to 70 Newton meters. It's a lot. All right, and with the torquing of these, our oil cooler and filter housing is all sealed up. Oh, wait a minute. We got to top it off with this guy. All right, awesome. All right guys, we're at the 24 hour point here. So it is day two of fixing up the ML. And uh, I got Peter over here minting out our valve covers. I have to reseal the upper breather chambers though. And I've already installed this bank of spark plugs. I just have three left on this side. So that'll be done. So we should be done with the mechanical repairs in the next roughly three hours. And then we do have to get two tires installed in the front to match the new ones in the rear and do a bunch of detail work. So. It's definitely coming down to the wire here, that's for sure. All right, outside of the belt, this is our last part of the front of the engine puzzle. And the previous owner said they replaced the thermostat as well, so we don't have to do that. All right, there's our new pulley. Right about, right about, right about. Stop turning, I'm trying to end this scene. Turn, okay, right about, right about there. This scene isn't over yet, I need that click. Now it's done. All right, so I just got done replacing all of the ignition wires and I found this. We have a severely cracked coil. It's even worse here. No misfires though at all because M113. But luckily I blew up the transfer case on my ML55, so this guy's down. Let's steal a coil. Oh yeah, she's a little, little dirty. We had a ton of fun with this guy, but the transfer case chain did not make it. The coils did though. Man, I need to reseal the valve covers on this guy too. Okay, whoo, got it. Oh, it's just like new now. Put me in coach, I'm ready to play. All right, so the valve covers are looking pretty awesome. And now we're gonna take the breathers off, which are just a couple of little screws. And then these guys are glued on. Woo, glued on tight. All right, cool. So now we gotta scrape all this stuff out of here. This is the one that was actually leaking. There we go. And there's glue everywhere. It takes forever to clean these. We had to clean out where all the screws and bolts go all the way around both sides. This takes a long time. Anyway, this is what it looks like now. All goopy and nasty. And after about an hour of cleaning, this is what it looks like after removing all of this. Just, just make a gasket, Mercedes. Or better yet, why is this even a removable part? There is no reason 
for this chamber to be removable. They could have just built it as part of the valve cover and called it a day. It makes no sense. Peter, what's that What's that called? It's German engineering. Right. right. Das German engineering. All right, we get to use my awesome Mercedes-Benz RTV gun. I mean, this is from Mercedes. Mercedes part number and my name carved into it because of how expensive these were and the dealer guys would steal them on you. But look at this, one of our tubes blew up, so Peter came up with a really fancy contraption here. It's nice. All right, here we go. Making our own gasket. Mercedes, please, please. I know this engine is long discontinued and you don't care about it, but can you just, just make a gasket for this? This is so much work for no reason. I mean, it's kind of satisfying at this point to fill these little canals. All right, here we go. Glue going down. Okay, and so you want it to ease out just, just a little. Keep it nice and classy. And then with the FCP Euro kit, they give you new screws and hardware. It's really nice. Very little torque on these guys. This is one of those by feel type deals. Click and click. There we have it, resealed breather chamber. All right, before we put the valve cover on, we're gonna pour our oil in because it's just so satisfying to do when you can see it just lubricating engine parts. Look at this chain. This chain is like, wow, this is the most oil I've ever had on me. Give me more and I will last forever, even though it's gonna last forever anyway because it's an M113 chain. Look at that, woo. There you go, little buddy. And of course, we are feeding the M113, our Euro 540 synthetic by Amsoil. This is the best synthetic oil in the world. I use it on all of my cars, European, American, Japanese, as I point to Peter. It's simply the best. There's a ton of third-party data showing this oil winning in almost every single category. So that is what I use in all my cars. And I became an AMS oil dealer a couple of years ago to pay for little things around the shop, insurance and stuff like that. So anyway, I'll leave a link down below. And if you sign up for one of my preferred customers, you're gonna get 25% off of everything AMS oil. So it gets shipped to your house. Their website is amazing. And just know that every time you feed your engine, the good stuff that you're helping support the channel too. All right, new gaskets, of course. This engine is finally gonna be sealed up. There should be absolutely no oil leaks after all of this. We're gonna find out because I'm gonna pressure wash everything. We're gonna run it, make sure it's tip top. All right, so I've also replaced these breather hoses as well since they were all cracked up. And now we just plop on our valve cover like so. All right, last piece to our mechanical puzzle is the reinstallation of the air pump. Put that hose back on so it can pump air. Oh, don't forget your ground. You need a ground and a connector and some zip d zip. Okay, cool. Let's go to the wash rack before we install the fan and the belt and all that stuff and, and wash. All right, so Peter's cleaning up two of the wheels while they're off, we actually had to get some new tires installed on these. They were pretty much shot and the rears were in excellent condition. So now we'll have them to match. These were a total pain to remove. And they're rusted together. And all you need to do to prevent that is just a very small amount of anti-seize. That's enough. Do one of these. And now when you're broke down in the middle of the highway in 10 degree Chicago weather, and you need to put your spare on, your wheel will come right off. There we go. And you really barely need any of this stuff, so I actually give it a wipe too. That's it, just a light film, you're good. Something else that aids in removing a wheel is torquing it to spec. So right now the gun's on number one. We're gonna torque it after this. And that'll prevent the rotors from getting warped. It'll make it easier for you to remove the wheel. It's just overall a, a good thing to do. Torque your wheels. This thing runs so, so nicely. Cannot wait to clean this engine. Peter, you got no power steering. There's no belt on. Work you use, it's actually not even that hard without power steering. Oh, and then while it's in the wash rack, we're definitely gonna fix this hood. This is the only bad part of the paint on this ML. Everything else is great, the roof, everything. All right, perfect. All right, guys, so we're gonna use a bunch of engine degreaser, mostly in the front here. And then we'll get all this, this is so bad. I'll have a really good before and after for you here in a moment. All right, guys, I'm gonna get dirty here. I have the mass airflow sensor covered up, but everything on these modern engines is sealed pretty well as far as connectors, so we can 
be a little bit generous with our pressure from our water, but still safe. We're not gonna blast directly into connectors or electrical items. I've gone through this a few times, but just, just be safe. There we go. All right, we've blasted everything and an important step here for safety is to then dry everything immediately. So we're gonna run the engine, but first blow it off with this guy. All right, so with everything dry, we're gonna install our new belt and then run the engine, warm it up so it can dry everything. Right on there. Come on now. There we go. Try to take your little pin out of the tensioner. This kind of looks cool though. What if instead of a toothpick, I'm just hanging out with a belt tensioner pin in my mouth at all times. Get my iron intake here. Mm. I'll give you guys a really good before and after underneath the car when we lift it after a quick drive. He's gonna go for a ride. So we verify all the oil leaks are fixed, but I just wanted to show you the front of the engine before we put the fan in. That's gonna block us from getting in here like this. And showing you guys how clean this is. All right, so let's get this engine fan back in so we can run this engine for a while up to proper operating temperature. All right. There she is. This guy always breaks, but we have a good one. All right, so we have everything together. We need to start this up and get it up to operating temperature. Awesome. No belt noises, everything looks good. Cool, so what I'm gonna do now is warm it all the way up, go for a test drive, make sure we don't have any leaks, any other issues, uh, and then I'll pop it up in the air, show you guys how dry it is, hopefully. Hopefully there are no leaks. Uh, and then we can buff out the hood. Oh, and I almost forgot, we gotta put new air filters in this guy. I don't even know if these are bad. But we're just starting them off fresh, so this shouldn't require any maintenance or anything for a long time. What do we got? Oh wow, these are actually really nice. <laughs> They look like they've just been replaced. Well, whatever. We're gonna replace them anyway. There you go, Chris. New air filters. That's done. Oh, we gotta clean this guy. Beauty cover's gotta look beautiful, doesn't it? No one's gonna see the engine block that we just cleaned. This has gotta look nice, though. All right, we just got done detailing everything she is looking clean. And the very last piece of the puzzle under the hood are some cabin filters. And don't pay anyone to replace these on the 164 chassis. Super easy. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, and I'm so glad we're doing this. Clogged up drains really anywhere in your car can sometimes cause big issues. Literally, they can flood your car out, fry electronics. We gotta clean that. Oh man, a lot of people forget about these. Don't forget about these. This is the air that you're breathing. Nasty, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. All right, that's it. This thing is clear. And then we'll slide in the new cabin filters one at a time. There we go. All right, new filters, cleaned out vent. Let's see, we found the cap here to the jumping terminal. I'll put that back on too. All right. That just makes me feel better that Chris and his family aren't gonna be breathing in that nasty, nasty air. Replace the cabin filters, people. Just do it. It's like 20 bucks. Every five years or something would be good. All right, she's looking sweet. Woo! Wow. <laughs> wow, these are probably original. The worst I've ever seen. Oh man. Okay, I keep on forgetting things that I've bought for this car. Wiper blades. We're doing a very major service on this and we can't leave it without good blades. Yeah, especially going into the winter now. There we go. All right, in case you guys forgot from earlier on in the video, this is how bad the oil leaks looked before. So we had about five different oil leaks. They had saturated pretty much everything underneath the car. It looked horrendous. It was definitely dripping on this guy's driveway. And then we fixed pretty much everything, cleaned it up. I just went for a test drive. And this is what we have now. And nothing is leaking. We fixed them all. The rear main seal wasn't leaking to begin with. It'd probably been done already, but 
This is beautiful. I love it. So here's a really quick one. This is before and this is after. So we are good to go. We've gotten this engine up to operating temperature. It ran for about a half hour. I took it out for a nice long ride and we're golden. Chris, you got a nice, nice car. I hope you really enjoy this ML for many, many years to come because it is fresh. I mean, this is about as good as it gets for this year ML. And here is our graveyard of parts, which, which we need to dispose of right now. We even moved this over as well. I've always kind of wanted to just clear my toolbox of parts like this before, so we're just gonna go for it. Very satisfying. Oh, we can use the wipers. They're wiping away the toolbox. There we go. Everything made it, right? Oh, we need the drill bit. Nope, not anymore. <laughs> oh, it broke. <laughs> All right, we just washed the ML and drying the hood. We gotta try and fix this. Hopefully it'll come back to us because we don't have any time for a paint job right now. This is a metallic paint, isn't it? Oh yeah, this is a metallic black. I thought this was the normal black. Wow, this is gonna look good, hopefully. This is the factory metallic paint. It's code C197. So 040 is just your standard Mercedes black. This was a very, very specifically optioned ML. To not have keyless go or the electronic tailgate, but have the Alcantara seats, the metallic paint, the air suspension, it's almost, it's almost like a Mercedes tech spec this out. Well, except for the air suspension, that can fail. But this is all new. We found a new pump in there too. So we're good. All right, anyway, let's buff this out. I'm gonna use our fine polish and the fine foam pad. Let's go kind of gentle on it to begin with, see what we need to do. All right. Okay, that's that's looking very, very promising and nice. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, this is probably the worst of it right in here. It's really exfoliating. There is a layer on here. Look at that. We're cleaning it up though. Wow. We are literally just peeling off a layer of oxidation is what it is. Yeah, it's not It's not clear coat failure or anything. Wow, this feels so much better. This is super slippery. Oh, this is great. We are gonna be able to save this hood. I mean, at this point we have to be able to save this hood because we're like 12 hours away from giving the car away and we can't do that with a, with a bad looking hood. All right, so our hood went from this completely faded out, potentially irreparable all the way to this. She came back, people, she came back. The gloss is back. And look at this metallic paint up close. It is a really, really cool color. And of course we ceramic coated the hood and the rest of the car while we were at it. I buffed out the headlights as well, so those look nice and pretty. She's come a long way. All right, after all this work, we have to reset the maintenance indicator. That is not correct at all. This guy definitely did all of his oil changes. We had a ton of service history. So we just go into there and dyno mode. We'll, we'll keep that off and confirmation full service. All right. After all of that, here is our almost done ML 500. We just need to clean up the interior, but this is fully mechanically sorted. Now we've driven it. No warning lights, no weird stuff. Drive straight as an arrow and it looks beautiful. I can't wait to give this to Chris tomorrow. This is a very beautiful sight to see no warning lights whatsoever. She runs beautiful. These things are very torquey, very peppy. Uh, we just gotta go get some gas. All right, I got Max and Peter some Christmas gifts. Let's see, let's see if they see it right away. I'm gonna have them load up the jack, which you guys will see why we need that. Jack's ready to go. All right. This is a ploy, this is a trick, a deception, if you will. What the heck? <laughs> this is to Peter. Merry Christmas! I wonder what it is! Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's oh. for the conquest. It is. Oh, it's perfect. It's direct fit too. It's, oh man. So we're gonna be working on uh, oh, Peter's awesome. conquest soon. Yes. Max had a headlight bulb go out on his Subaru. So I got him some LED headlights. Dude, are those Morimoto's? 
Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. Oh. Dude, thank oh. you. You're welcome. I reused the Christmas bags. Max got us some presents and I stole the bags. So I'm not good at, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not that good at wrapping things, so there you go. There you go, Max. A unicorn it. umbrella. I love it. All right, so I've set the cruise control and we got about a half hour ride. This thing is so comfortable. Um, but here is what we're planning, okay? And with these surprise car giveaways, you kind of like never know what's gonna happen. I literally had one guy say no to the car. I was giving it to him on Christmas and he said no. I'll link that down below. Uh, but Will is going to lure Chris into the parking lot and we're gonna be in the parking lot with the ML, with the red bow on the hood, but a jack, uh, just about to jack it up for a flat tire. Then I'm gonna see Chris in the parking lot. I'm gonna call him over and ask if he'll help me. I'll fake some kind of injury, like my arm hurts. So I'll have him start jacking up the car. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna let him know what I'm doing. I'm gonna say something along the lines of, yeah, man, this couldn't have been worse timing with this because I'm giving this car away. And then hopefully he's like, oh, cool. And then I'll say, yeah, I'm, I'm giving it to a veteran. And then hopefully he's like, oh, sounds good. And then I'm slowly gonna trickle in facts about Chris that a random stranger should not know. So Will's known Chris for over 10 years, so he gave me a couple of little factoids about him, uh, like the fact that he's a really good chef. He was a sushi chef. So I'm gonna start sprinkling in stuff like that until it gets weird and awkward and he and he maybe realizes what's going on. I don't, I don't know. So we got Gabby, she's in on this too. She's gonna call Will. We're in the parking lot, by the way, at Road Home. It's freezing out here. Uh, but Gabby's gonna call Will uh, to what do you what are you gonna say to like come like help him or so something? Chris always I don't helps even know. With like unloading things. Oh, and, perfect. Um, so I'm gonna say like, hey, I need I need a hand in the back parking lot. Can can you bring some extra help? All right, perfect. So I am gonna be here. Uh, yeah, with this thing jacked up because you know it's got a flat tire. I'm in the back parking lot. Um, do you think I need a hand? Do you think you can come down here and, and maybe bring someone else? Okay. All right, we got secret Mike Max. Yep. We got Peter. He's gonna be hiding with this this camera. Oh, it'll take him three minutes. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. You never know how these are gonna go. I mean, I I was rejected once, so there's no way. I mean, look at look at how nice this is. So okay, so we got Peter in the Tesla. I don't even know where Max. Oh, there he is. Max is over there by the dumpster. <laughs> As per all the other videos where I'm surprising people, I'm hiding behind a dumpster. All right, dude, I'm nervous, I'm shaking. All right, I got everything. I got the keys, I got money. Where's the title? I got the title. Okay, all right. You know what, can you roll down another window and try to like get him coming out the door? Because then I'm gonna go up to him and be like, hey, you think you can help me out? And then I gotta feel like, I gotta fake an injury. Ugh. Hey guys. Hey, I'm Alex. Hey, I'm hey how are you? Chris, nice Chris to meet you. good to meet you. Uh, any chance you guys can help me with a flat? It's all set up. I set it up. I just Everything's set up. Over yeah, there. It's a, yeah, I just I couldn't physically. Thanks, man. It's just the worst timing for this. You already uh, uh, loosened up the lugs? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm actually giving this thing away like today. The guy's supposed to be coming through the parking lot. <laughs> so really nice guy, veteran. Uh, he was in the Marines in like the early 2000s. Oh, cool. And I've never met him before. <laughs> so, oh man, thank you. I gotta get the gun. But yeah, he's, uh, I think he's from like Kentucky and he was a sushi <laughs> chef or something. So, <laughs> what, what'd you, what, did, oh, sorry, what did you say your name was? My name is Chris. Oh, you're Chris! <laughs> <laughs> Merry on? Christmas, Chris. This is yours. What is going on? Here? What's going on here yeah. is that you served our country and we're paying it back with a car. So Will and I have been conspiring to do this for probably about a month now. <laughs> what in the world is going on? He let me know how awesome of a guy you were <laughs> and that you lost your car. And we can't have that, especially because there's a blizzard coming tomorrow. So we got you an all wheel drive, Mercedes Benz ML 500, clean title, and it is all for you. All right, you guys, you guys can come out. <laughs> you don't know me, right? You don't, I, don't, do, 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 I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Peter. <laughs> that's Peter. That's Max. And we've been working on this for about a month for you. Uh, we bought this thing. It needed... Oh, it doesn't have a flat, by the way. It's got new tires. We just put them on yesterday. 
So we've been working on this for a while. Uh, we, we bought it used, it needed some work, and I have a YouTube channel called Legit Street Cars, and we fix up cars. Like we rescue cars and stuff like that, and then every Christmas I, I, give, a, I give a car away for Christmas um, <laughs> and kind of pay it forward. And I've been wanting to do a, a veteran one again. We, we did uh, some veteran stuff a few years ago, and uh, we appreciate everything you guys have done. And so we got you a car. Oh, and speechless. And uh, modsandmiles.com, they are the best car auction site ever. Uh, they are throwing in a full year's worth of car insurance money for you. That's all you, man. <laughs> and then I'm throwing in a full year's worth of gas. So you don't even have to put gas in it. Take it, it's yours. <laughs> it's insane, it's insane. And look at the snow is coming right yeah. in time for Christmas. It's going to be Merry a Christmas. white Christmas. <laughs> Perfect for the all wheel drive. Exactly, exactly. This is too much. But yeah, we'll, we'll help this out. We, uh, I've been working with Salute Inc. for a while and they turned me out. Come awesome. on in, yeah. Will. Awesome. Organization. Come on. <laughs> Will, Will told me everything about you. <laughs> this is too much. I almost feel like I know you a little bit. Just he gave me a little bit of your backstory and and I needed, I'm like, I need factoids to lure you into this. <laughs> I was trying to keep it a secret as much as I could. And I'm like, I want to tell people. And, but uh, it just, I just knew this is probably something that could, that could help. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah. So he said you've been taking buses and trains to work for a little while. Yeah. Cool. Are you in Chicago too? I, I am. Yeah. Oh, cool. 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 Yeah. So, so awesome. Yeah. I was looking and he, he had mentioned you also had kids. So I'm like, all right, we got to yep. find an SUV, all wheel drive. And I know it's a Mercedes. A lot of people are intimidated, but I was a Mercedes tech, and I, I drove them in the Marine. Oh, you did? Yeah. Really? Yeah, we had these special Mercedes trucks that we. Uh, oh, that we cool! Drove. They're, they're amazing. <laughs> well, <laughs> then you know they're, they're really good in the snow too, yeah. especially with the all-wheel yep. drive. So we spec this one out perfectly. It took me forever to find this, um, but it's got one of the best gasoline Mercedes engines ever. They're really reliable, and we fixed everything on it over the last two days, which you'll see when you watch the video. <laughs> this is going to make my family's Christmas. Hey, this, is, this is amazing. So I, I don't know what to do. You want to check it out? Let's go check it yeah, out. Yeah. Oh, dude, your girlfriend's going to love you. Your spouse is going to love you. You know, you got a brand new Mercedes and you already uh, messed up the tire. Oh, no. I was hoping you wouldn't pick up on the fact that it's really not flat. Yeah, I was no, like, should I deflate it? <laughs> yeah, brand new. I'm like, should I deflate it? And I'm like, nah, we'll make this quick. <laughs> So here it is. It had a bunch of oil leaks and stuff that were really common. So we fixed all that very clean interior. I mean, it runs and drives like brand new. It's awesome. Oh, um, so go ahead and fire it up. It's got a V8. It's got like 300 horsepower and like 340 foot pounds of torque. Sorry, we're car guys. Are you are you into cars like at yeah. all? Yeah, that's why one of the reasons I joined the Marine Corps. Really? So drive, what did you do? What trucks. did you do in the Marine Corps? Big trucks, guns on top, drove around. Blow stuff up. <laughs> Rambo with a truck. <laughs> yeah, great stereo. It's got air suspension, so it rises and lowers, and that stuff has been fixed up. It's got the new compressor and the new bags, and the front struts look to be in good shape too. So speechless. Well, I'm I'm super happy for you. It was so yeah. great when I, I talked to Mary Beth at Salute Inc. She hooked me up with Will, and immediately he was like, "Chris is the guy. Chris is the guy." <laughs> I, I was just talking to my friend earlier. I was like, I don't know what's going on. You know, I was supposed to meet Will at 9.30. He sent me a message last night about what size shirt I wear. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's my, Oh, that's right there. That's what that is. So my friend was like, is everything okay? You're not getting fired or anything. I know I'm not going to get fired. <laughs> Will, Will's an old friend. I've known him for, you know, since I moved to Chicago. Uh, so everything was going to be okay. I was talking about Will and Mary Beth. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, so we got you some merch, too. Some legit street cars merch. <laughs> There you go, you got a t-shirt and a hoodie. Give it some gas, you gotta give it a little. Oh yeah. She's a beast. Very peppy, very torquey. All wheel drive? Yeah, it's all wheel drive, all so there's no drive. buttons to press. You got all your right. heated seat control. It's got sport and comfort suspension, cool. sunroof. It's got hill descent. So oh, that yeah. might bring you back to your days yeah. in the in the Marines. It's it's a, it, it would probably do pretty good off road. <laughs> yeah. I have the older generation of this and I turned it into an off roading SUV, oh, really? it's awesome. It's lifted with 35s and stuff. Um, so, I'm a big fan of the ML. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is, hey, pick up the kids, go down to, yeah, we're going down to Kentucky for Christmas now. Oh, you're going to Kentucky for Christmas? Yeah, I, well, I was just, you know, I went over my budget last, yesterday and I was like, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to make it. We're just gonna have to stay here. So, uh, 
Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> my family is. My family's gonna be. How, uh, how, how, what's your age range of kids? A uh, 12 year old son and a nine year old daughter. Okay, cool. Yeah. Perfect, man. This yeah. thing is gonna be so good for you guys. Yeah. Hold on, check out the back. It's actually got good room. So like one of the big failure points on these was they had a power lift gate that would fail all the time. And this one being a 500 is one of the most well spec that you can get, but they specifically got the manual lift gate. So it's almost like a Mercedes tech, like spec this thing out because they knew that was gonna fail. So that won't break on you. Oh, okay. So it's, so it's good. And you got a ton of room back here for everything. So, yeah. dude, I'm so excited you get to go to Kentucky to visit I'm your so family for I, Christmas. I, 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 literally, I went over yesterday. I was like, it's not going to happen. I told my sister, maybe next year. Or... Dude, you should surprise them. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get some pointers from you on how to surprise people. Just show up. <laughs> yeah, just show up. Hey, hey, Dad, can you come out and help me change yeah, the tire? <laughs> right. They're all full of air, but go ahead. <laughs> We're literally about to get like a polar vortex right now. So Will was saying there were even people here that are like going home early and we're going to head back to the shop right now too. We got to shuffle all of our cars around because they're going to get pounded on. So, what, so what can I do for you guys? Absolutely nothing. You've already subscribe done it. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe yeah. to the channel. Yeah. Like, and subscribe. like and subscribe. That's all yeah. we need, Chris. You're getting a whole clan of Millers that we're all going to, we're all going to be liking and subscribing. Awesome. Awesome, man. Well, enjoy the car. All right. Thank you again for your service. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, another Christmas giveaway in the books. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Share the video with your friends and family. Subscribe if you haven't already. And most importantly, Merry Christmas. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. You ready for this? <laughs> you gotta go find your parking spot now, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, dude. Thank you. Thanks again. Thanks so much. Send some pictures from Kentucky. I will.